Hi Espers, we are back with another iteration ng control room. So if this is the first time na makita nyo itry tong event na to, please consider subscribing by clicking on the button down below. <laughs> Hahatawi natin tong event na to. Sa mga nakapanood nung unang try ko nito, medyo naging scam siya as you can remember after the first 10 draw. So let's see if may nagbago ba or it remained the same. So, ang mangyayari pala dito, Espers, before drawing sa board din nyo, pwede kayong magtanggal ng dalawang items. Then, start playing natin siya. I don't have to read that. So, ito yung jackpot na prizes na available pag pilian. Ruin Goblin King, and din si Ronin Lone Dragon. Siyempre, we won't choose the 8,000 credits. Piliin natin tong Ruin Goblin King. Confirm. And then, as you can see here, may mamili rin tayo ng rewards natin for the 30 points and then the 60 points milestone. Ang ganda nung Summer Burst. So, we'll click on that. And then, SMRS as well. Confirm natin yan. So, ito yung sa una nating try. 30, 60 points. And then, the jackpot na pwede natin makuha. Malaman natin kung paano natin makuha nung points after clicking on Confirm. So, as you can see here, nasa gitna, kasama sa board natin yung grand prize. As well as siya yung nandito sa may 100 points. And as you can see, sa board natin, we have 9 items and each item correspond to a point na nakalagay dun sa may upper right hand side niya. For example, yung grass frame, pag nabunot niya yan, meron siyang 1 point. And to get the Ruin Goblin King in this scenario, kailangan natin ng 100 points. So explain ko, ba't siya naging scam after the first 10 draw? Tinan natin kung nabago na yon. Mag-ban muna tayo ng dalawang items, dun tayo syempre sa mga mabababang points. Grass frame. And then Arctic 50, yun yung ibaban natin since they only have 1 point pag nabunot natin siya. So let's click on 10 draw for 120 CP and then confirm. Ang masama pa dito, <laughs> kitang kita nyo naman Espers, pwedeng pwedeng magkaroon ng duplicate. But we have a new character, si Outrider na jungle. And then puro grass frame. <laughs> Tsaka wingsuit na jaguar. But the good news is, nakapag 33 points na tayo and we can get the first milestone already. And there we go, nakuha na natin yung Type 25 na Summer Burst. As you can see, dito na siya nagiging Scam Espers. Kasi as you can see, yung Wingsuit, while wear, is walang points na ibibigay. Maganda sana if unique, or lahat sana ng cards natin ay merong points. Pero as you can see now, after our 10 draw, nagsisimulang mag-diminish yung points sa mga cards natin. So syempre, yun yung ibaban natin. And then the Grass Frame, kasi nagkaroon na tayo ng napakaraming duplicates noon kanina. As far as I know, yung mga duplicates, nagiging credits. Same with other events. So for 10 draws, 230 CP na gagastusin natin. Let's go. And we got a total of 12 points. And puro duplicate siya. Wala man lang tayong nakuhang ibang rare na items. Puro duplicates yan. Confirm natin. And now, look at this Espers. Kaya i-avoid sana natin tong event na to. Since as you can see here, dun sa 9 items, tatlo na yung walang value. And as you can remember, we can only ban two items. And pag nag-draw tayo, pwede tayo makakuha ng duplicate of the items. Ang masama dito, wala na ang points yung makakuha nating Outrider, if ever. Pwede pang mag-duplicate. So, sobrang baba yung makakuha yung points. Pero if ever naman, puro grass frame, alam nyo naman na puro duplicate na lang yun. To emphasize on my point, last 10 draw na natin to Espers. I think it's better to spend CP somewhere else, like crates or lucky draw. At least dun sure ka, ba? Dito sobrang gamble. So let's go. For 230 CP, 10 draw tayo, na last one. And ayun nga, kita nyo naman, from 33 points to 12 points, ngayon naman 7 points. Kasi yung Outrider Jungle is walang value. So confirm natin to. We are just actually 8 points shy away from the second milestone, pero we will stop there. I will not recommend this event anytime. Lalong lalo na if for the next iteration, hindi nila aayusin to. So ang nangyari is, same scenario pa rin, control room is the same with its first iteration. Bago pa tuluyang sumama ang loob ko sa code, eh, i-claim na natin yung mga nakuha nating tig the duplicates. Outrider Jungle, good skin. Pero common lang siya. Still good. Ganda sa ano. Samaru Burst. Parachute, malware. Hmm, talks good. Knife na Jaguar. And then, duplicate galore tayo, Espers. La 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 la. 
Wow, 380 lang ang credits na nakuha natin doon. So if you ask me, anong recommended gawin sa event na to, Sir JCFE? Number 1, if you have 120 CP, go for only the first 10 draws. As you can see, favorable pa naman siya and makukuha nyo yun sa my first milestone. Number 2, don't even attempt sa event na to. As you can see, may pagkabudol siya. And for number 3, if you have lots of CP, roll away. Kayo bahala. Pero ako na nagsasabi, sobrang hindi siya sulit. Control at disiplina na lang ang pairalin natin. Kasi magkakaroon pa ng magandang draw sa Friday, yung Gundam, di ba? So it's better to save your CP if ever. Pero that's it for the second iteration ng control room. They didn't touch or fix anything. Definitely a rigged event still. Sana next time is tanggalin nila yung cards na walang point value. Pero syempre, code M to, it's a gamble always. Meron naman raw silang free-to-play na event. Yung makukuha mo zero. Tingin ko yun yung justification nila. But don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe as I'll see you in our next event for Cod M. For Cyber Attack, don't forget to do your operations every 6 hours and pataasin nyo na rin yung experience ni Zero right here. Stay safe, Espers, and see you around.